again if you're new to my channel welcome if you're somebody who's been before and come back welcome to you thank you for coming back today um it's i don't know what you're gonna what i'm gonna call this video it's like um a get ready with me because as you can see i've got no makeup on plus um me talking about my new skin skincare routine which isn't going very well but well, basically um if you watch my channel before you'll know but if you haven't and you knew i'm 49 um i've been having botox on my crow's feet for the past couple of years i only have it done probably i'll say every six months because it's expensive <laughs> you know but i just thought um last time i had it done i just thought this is silly money like you know so i've started to watch um loads of beauty videos <laughs> you know of how to um look after mature skin so um it's been a an expensive disaster really <laughs> you know, i'm beginning to wish i mean i'm looking at all the stuff in front of me now most of it's still in the cupboard because i'm one of these people if something's on special offer i'll buy a couple of them even though i haven't tried it to see if it works but i'm like it's on special offer might as well buy a few so it looks like bloody boots shelf in that cupboard at the moment with stuff that i can't use so um that'll be on ebay soon anyway <laughs> um i've literally got nothing on my face at the moment i've just cleansed it again with uh, my nivea one what i'm tending to use uh, i don't like says i don't know what this video is going to be about it's just um just me having a little moan if anybody could recommend or tell me where i'm going wrong which is probably everywhere but <laughs> you know, what what they do because i just thought like i said i thought i don't really want to keep having botox because it's too expensive plus what about the rest of my face <laughs> you know, it's all right having wrinkle wrinkle free bits there but what about the rest of it oh you know so that would be nice and smooth the rest looks rough so um yeah so the videos i've been watching are everybody's videos and from what i can gather some products work on some people some products like me don't work so i'll start um with the first item <laughs> this is going to be a long bloody video so um if you're easily bored <laughs> you're gonna want to watch this right the first this item i watched um her name's rachel irish beauty blogger or blogger i'm not sure her title but i'll list it below and she was talking about this a313 which is a uh, retinol yeah there's different types of retinol retinol lay retinols and all this i don't know it gets a bit complicated <laughs> you know one of them where you're like i just want a nice smooth face wrinkle free <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me so she recommended this and apparently there's loads of fakes on amazon so she left a link below so this basically came, i think it came from france it's 20 odd pound i think so this goes on your face on the night because retinol you're only allowed to use on the night because it doesn't work well with the sun or something so um whoop, hang on so um as you can see i've only used a tiny bit because you put it on at night and it's like um it's a bit like um can you see it goes on is it coming out it's like vaseline so it's quite go back in get in um so it's quite thick and you know like, have a nice shiny face but i think i may have overused this and put too much on because it i know it dries uh, retinol does dry your face out but um i did i mean i've got a dry patch there but i'll explain that in a bit as well but um i didn't like having a dry scaly face because i've always had greasy skin so uh, i don't like greasy skin either but um it can't i just thought oh i don't like that so i thought i'll have a look online to see what else i can get right so um i'm trying to remember the order that i bought stuff but i might get a bit confused. oh yeah i did try and cheat as well i bought my perfect eyes which i did do a video on i did it the day before um i was gonna have my botox but i deleted the video because it was rubbish it was really bad that's it by my standards it was bad it does a job it makes all you lines and that disappear but i couldn't do it without leaving the white filmy bit there you get like a white patch and then you can't put makeup on top and if you break the white patch it just goes back to normal so this was another thing they had on offering lloyd so i bought bloody three of them <laughs> you know 
and uh, I sold the other two on spot. I didn't even make a profit. I just basically got back what I paid for them. And right now, this is little plug. I'm gonna. I okay, keep that's fat inside. I'll leave a little link below. I use top cash back all the time, right? I mean, I've just had twenty pound, twenty odd pound come off it then, and I bought some new work trousers for work with it. So they're free trousers. Basically, what I'm saying is, I got them through these through i went through top cash back then i typed in lloyd's and lloyd's had a special offer on and i think i got about five pound back through top cash back i did have to wait a month or so but anyway i'm gonna link, link below because as you know um with affiliate links if you click them you you get a little bit of a discount and i get like um a bit of money for uh that's a thank you <laughs> for like giving them customers so but if you don't want to use it that's fine just go straight to top cashback but i just don't understand why people don't use cashback uh, so it's it's that one and what's that other one i use that i don't use very often <laughs> i can't even remember the name anyway i'll leave that below as well but i always forget to use that one because top cashback's easy for me anyway so i got this i've done a video on it i've deleted the video because it was really bad <laughs> probably get sued by them <laughs> like, can you piss off like stop them um, it is a good product as such it does the job if you're not planning on wearing any makeup because and that was another thing i'll show you what i bought as well because this is how like, gullible i am i also bought their foundation as well I'm, I'm gonna need to bin these to be honest i bought their foundation which i thought oh if i buy their foundation i'll be able to use that on top of the um that apparently not <laughs> and the foundation is really um to me really chalky so uh yeah so these two um uh no longer gonna be used but obviously i can't sell them because we use nobody's gonna want like a half open box of stuff um how long have i been bloody hell seven minutes <laughs> going on for seven minutes so anyway so those were my first um waste of money so they can go there um that one i might use again in the future because it says I couldn't use that because it made my skin dry but I know that's one of the side effects of retinol you have to go through the bad patch before you get to the good patch apparently um so I started to look at some more videos which um come up with the Olay one these I got these on offer in boots as well again through top cash back because the boots by me although it's massive they hardly have anything in stock so it's just easier to order it online and then go and collect it so these are like more of a moisturizer retinol so you don't need to put a moisturizer on top and they're supposed to be like not as hard strength sort of thing so i started to use them every night which again was a big mistake shouldn't have done that but using them and my normal um oh yeah i've changed to this one as well the olay seven signs of aging thing which gives you um, a very glowy face liam says it's a glowy face but i think it makes my face look greasy but anyway um so i've been using them right and that and then um a few weeks ago i noticed um i've got a mirror there i don't know if you can see i've got a brown patch there and there and there and there that line there is a big crease line from a pillow so <laughs> and that that's the scar i don't know where i got that from though it's been there forever so um i don't know if that has caused it because like they say you have to go through retinol supposed to bring out all your bad bits in your face before you get to the good bits I mean, watch, uh, don't take no notice of me. I'm, I'm saying it all wrong as such, but if you watch proper people's videos, I'll explain it better. So the last time I had these brown patches, these appeared when I was pregnant with my son, what, 20 years ago? And then they faded, and now they've come back again with adventures. Adventures? You know the word I mean? <laughs> so I thought, for F's sake, like, you know. Uh, I'm going to stop this video, and I'll be back in a bit, because um, I'll explain in a minute yeah i have to stop the video because the app that i use anything that i do over 10 minutes it won't upload and last week's video i had a nightmare uploading i uploaded it about four times and there was no volume on it i, I don't know what i did eventually got managed to get the volume back but you know one of them where I, i'm like if, if this don't come on now i'm just going to delete the whole thing so anyway um again I, I think i'm going to get all confused with what i've used when because i've got to show you this as well is it Vici? Vici. Uh, again, <laughs> um, when I went for my Botox, um, 
the lady who does my Botox, she, uh, she, I don't think she'll mind me saying, but she's in the 60s. She's beautiful. She's completely flawless. And I, I'm not joking, <laughs> you know. She's super slim and super, just super flawless. But she's got no um, lines. You know the way we've got them li little lines under your eyes? Or, you know, she's got no lines at all under her eyes. So I asked her how come. And she says she does have fillers in her cheeks. So I ain't touching fillers. No way. Well, one, because of the price, and two, because um, I've watched many, uh, you know, that botched, them botched programs on the, the telly and on YouTube, and I'm like, you've got to be brave to mess with fillers. But anyway, she also mentioned that she started to use this. It was recommended by her, um, her sister or something. So I'm starting to use this under my eyes as well. I can't say I've noticed any difference in my body, but I'm like... I'll just keep with it, like you know, because it's got um everybody else recommend it, it's clinically proven. And I'm like sometimes I'm like, who are these people that they're clinically proven and we've like, you know, are they normal people? Because I've been using this for weeks and weeks and weeks now and the lines are still there. But I'll keep going, <laughs> you know. I don't put this on the night, I just put this on the morning, but maybe I should put it on on the night. I don't know. Anyway, so I've been using that. That wasn't cheap as well, but that was on offer. I only buy stuff when it's on offer. I search on Google to see what's on offer before I buy it. So I've been trying that. <laughs> the other thing I've been trying is um, I've discovered The Ordinary, which has apparently been around for a while. Uh, if you don't know who The Ordinary is, um, you're not the only one because I didn't know who they was <laughs> not that long ago. They're basically... Um, They've got all the good stuff in that the expensive people put in, like Ola and all that, but the loads cheaper because they don't advertise in the shops or anything. But it's um, supposed to be really good. <laughs> so this is um, a skin peeling solution. I normally use the face scrubs, but apparently you shouldn't really use that. So it's not that good. So this, right, it was only about £6. They're super cheap as well. Got this. Um skin peeling thing you can see it's like red you put this on you're not supposed to leave it on for longer than 10 minutes and you wash it off and apparently you see results straight away well i didn't see no results it looked exactly the same to me when i when i washed it off it just looked the same and then um, there's some people say it stings didn't sting my face and then i watched somebody else's video and they basically say um <laughs> made me smart it says <coughs> excuse me if it doesn't sting it's probably because your face has got a load of build up on it and it's got a lot eventually clean your face so it must have meant that, that that's it if anybody wants to get it it must have meant my face was filthy so uh, I've been using this uh, once a week and I've noticed now the more I'm using it it is a little bit tingly but they say don't leave it on longer than 10 minutes because you can burn your face <laughs> I'd rather not have a burning face. So I don't know if it's this that's caused the brain patches because now I've literally stopped using the retinol. I just use normal moisturiser on the night because I'm thinking, was it the retinol? So I'm trying to cut out what I think it might have been that caused the brain patches. So at the moment, I've cut out the retinol. I'm still using that once a week. And I'm also using this other ordinary product which is a niacinamide and zinc. According to all the other YouTubers, the proper YouTubers, this is supposed to be brilliant. You put it on under your um, moisturiser, and I might put it on in a minute before, well, while I'm talking, because um, it gets on really sticky. And then I was like, why is it all sticky on my face? And apparently I was putting too much on. So if after using this, no, I'm gone. I'm trying to word it. If these brown patches don't go soon, then I'm going to cut out using this as well. Because this is supposed to be good for um, large pores, because I've got large pores on my nose, my T-zone, basically. So it's supposed to be good for that. So even a couple of weeks, these brown patches haven't gone. I'm going to cut this out as well, because maybe it, it could be this as well. I don't know. But anyway, it comes in little droplet things. Now, I was putting loads on my face, but apparently you're only supposed to put like uh, one, two bits on. And then rub it on your face, rub it in your hands, and then this get they pack it on like that, don't they? <laughs> well, when I put stuff on, I rub it on, but when I watched um, 
outside the proper YouTubers and that, like the, the beauty bloggers, they pat it on all gentle. <laughs> so anyway, pat that on. I'll leave that on for a bit because I want to put my um, foundation on in a bit and my hands all sticky, so I'll get a baby one. But that that stuff, that again was probably only about £6. Got that from Boots again. Everything from Boots. Like I say, I always Google stuff. When I see people talking about stuff, I'll Google it and search to see where, who's selling it the cheapest, like, you know, because I'm like, well, you've got to get it. When a bargain's there, you've got to get it, in you? So that's the other thing that I've been using now. I'm using that morning and night. Um, and I, it's uh, made no difference to my pores. They're still large. I'm still cleansing. And the pores are still there. I know pores are not going to disappear. Like, it's not a magic cure. Like, you know, it's not Paul Daniels. But i just got to keep trying. And the other thing that I've been trying is I've been using this Derma Roller. I only use it once a month. I had one of these. Remember when they first come out about, was it 10 years ago? And I used it once and it hurt my face and I threw it away. <laughs> you know. But again, I've been watching videos that say these are... Uh, these are supposed to be super duper like too because they put little holes in your face which stimulates collagen and all that and it's it's supposed to be good i don't know whether it is like but i'm just you know one of them where you are <laughs> there's no fall like an old fall so i'm trying that and again i was using um what was it called it's up there bio oil i was putting bio oil on after i did this and when I mentioned it to my Botox lady, she said, oh, no, you don't want to use that. You want to use this, so, you know. Um, so uh, this nit nitrous stuff, I can't pronounce it. This stuff was bloody expensive as well. I had to buy this online. It's called Restore something. I've got to admit, when you do put this on your face, your face does feel lovely. The first time I used this after i put that on on the night because your face goes red and i put this on afterwards and i went downstairs and Liam says what have you done to your face and i was like why he says it looks really good he actually noticed i think it was that i think because it had made all my face all glowy plus it was light <laughs> dark lights we like dark lights everybody looks very dark um so i've been putting that on but that was really expensive was it about 30 pound i can't remember but i don't think i'll use that again when that runs out, I'm going to look for a cheaper alternative because it, it just seems too much money. Especially as I'm not seeing any bleeding results. You wouldn't mind, um, no, it says my face looked nice and glowy and shiny while I had that on. And then it went back to normal. So anyway, so that's that. What else is there? I'm trying to think of the other things I've been buying. Like it says I've been using this now, the Olay. Have I missed something out? So I started to use that, and that does make my face look a little bit glowy. I think greasy, Liam says glowy. Um, but then, I know you're supposed to use sun cream in your sun protector. And I bought another sun protector, one, that one. That's sun protector, you know what I mean, sunscreen. That's as greasy as anything, so that's going to end up in the bin. But I've been using the CC cream, Olay one, which has got SPS... 15 which i know isn't um a lot but we don't get no sun here well apart from today so in savers right um if you buy one of them it's 8.99 on its own but if you buy where's the other one gone was it the night one i've got a night one somewhere and go let me find it where's it gone so that's a day one that's my cc cream and i've got a night one somewhere and go where is it Oh, I've moved it out. Anyway, they sell um, SPF uh, 15 moisturiser and a night one. Where's it gone? There it is. It's right in front of me. <laughs> so that's just normal fragrance free. But So that's £8.99 on its own. This is savers down the road. So it always, you know, shop around. You can't even get these cheaper on eBay, I've looked. So... In a box set, you get the um, moisturiser SPS 15 and the night cream for $9.99. So, although I don't normally like scented stuff on my face, I quite like the smell what's on this CC cream. It's actually quite a pleasant smell. And I haven't had loads of spots, because I thought, 
I'm going to get loads of spots and I haven't. So I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to buy these two. So I've got that one and that one for a pound more than one. So you're like, well, I'm going to try them then. So what I'm going to do now is, um, oh yeah, what else did I buy as well? <laughs> like so Sydney's in Morrison's um, CC cream, is it CC cream? Pore minimizer cream. So I thought I can use that with my CC cream, but it don't really, I keep putting it on my nose and you can still see the pores, but it was, um, it was cheaper in Morrison's. I said, no, in Morrison's, it is CC cream. I can see the CC now. I said, it in Morrison's and I, I'd never seen it before. So I ordered it, not ordered it, I bought it. And then I looked online and it was cheaper in Morrison's and online. So I went back and bought two more, but it doesn't really make much difference to my nose. But you've got to try it now. So that's all my um, skincare routine at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is sort out all my makeup. So what I'll be putting on is my moisturiser and my uh, CC cream because um, the normal foundation that I use, which is that, is maybe I've got the wrong shade. Can't crap at picking colours for my face. That, oh, when I don't break it, um, I feel like... Um, my face is a bit paler when I put that on, whereas this one, it's um, more of a creamy, looks like I've got a bit of a tan, <laughs> you know, looks like I'm, I'm a little bit tanned when I got that on, so at the moment I'm using this, but yeah, maybe I've got the wrong shade, I don't know, well, so you can't even uh, have testers in shops now, can you, because of bloody Covid, before at least you could get one and try it on your hand, but you can't do that, and so until you can do that again, which I don't know whether you ever will again, I'll be using this so I'll switch this off tidy up my bleeding mess and uh, I think um, I'll put my makeup on but I might have to speed it up so I'm gonna set on and I'll straighten my hair that CC cream I love it I think it's um it doesn't give much coverage <laughs> if anything it hardly gives any coverage at all but that's why I wanted it because well yeah I know I need the coverage for the yeah uh, <laughs> the uh, dark spots but I don't like having loads of foundation on my skin that's why before if you watched my video the BB creams I tried BB creams and they were thicker than foundation. Whereas this one, I got this off eBay. I'm sure I did. Somebody was selling two of them. I think they were like a power seller. They had loads of them for sale. So this CC cream is like, did I get this? Is fair, fair to medium, which as you can see, like I say, it doesn't give much coverage at all, but it's just a light coverage, which is just what I wanted. Um, sometimes I do use a makeup sponge. To put my foundation on sometimes I use my little pinkies <laughs> and today was one of them days but I'll just show you the difference between this and um, foundation if, if you're interested <laughs> you know. so like I said I'd swap in between so you, I get my foundation which as you can see is quite thick and then got my uh, CC cream and just put it on 
well it looks about thick as well but when i blend them in if i do the uh i don't know if you can see the foundation is a lot thicker than the cc cream which i suppose thinking about it if i put the foundation on not so thick it wouldn't be as thick would it <laughs> but i like it because it's um because it's light <laughs> um that's why i like that anyway i'll get that off but i forgot to show i forgot to do a couple of things then i forgot to um put me vichy stuff under my eyes and normally i always remember that and today when i'm talking about it and showing it yet i forget and i also forgot to show you um i bought this as well olay wit i'm not keen on the texture no <laughs> so uh yeah so that's another one I, i'll probably just use randomly and i've got these as well which i talked about in my last video um tea tree witch hazel uh skin control day moisturizer but i don't like it because it stinks <laughs> but they were only cheap as well so um i think that's it now oh yeah i wanted to show you this as well i've got one off ebay and then i recognize the brand i thought i'm sure they sell them in wilco's they do um essential bye bye panda eyes i think it's only about 3.99 they sell these in wilco's but like i said i got this off ebay and then i went to wilco and bought a few more because i think it, it is quite good i mean you do get sometimes a little bit of the black there but i've noticed i don't get so much like you know when you get it all there as well because i can't stop blinking when i put mascara on and the, this has been a godsend cheap and cheerful as well as me uh, Poundland Poundland now varnish and Poundland lipstick <laughs> uh yeah so I've spent a fortune on skin products and then I, I'm like why can't skin products be as cheap but I did buy some retinol you know, that I remember from Poundland and home bargains which was proper cheap and um I might end up using them actually I say I'm not using any retinol at the moment because I'm scared of the stuff, you know, <laughs> until these brain patches fade. But I say, I mean, I've got that CC cream is SPS 15 and I'm not planning on going anywhere to later anyway. So um, <laughs> uh, I think that's it now. I've got a, um, a degusta box downstairs that I want to open because I fancy some chocolate and there's got to be some chocolate in there. <laughs> So thank you all for watching everybody. Like I said, this isn't a skin um, advice video. You may have guessed that by now. This is just me. I'm sure I can't be the only one who gets sucked into uh, these products. And why I can't just buy one item at a time, I don't know. Um, why Facebook keeps advertising stuff to me as well and Instagram. It's like, oh, you like that product. Why well, don't you like this as well? Buy this. And I'm like i can't at the moment i've got too many stuff i can't I can't keep buying stuff my cupboard's rammed but there's, a, there's that much stuff in there now it's ridiculous but uh if you want to follow me on instagram um just memes just put memes on there uh that'd be brilliant thank you if you stuck to the end of this i straightened my hair did i mention you know it's been straightened uh i've got to be careful there because um i keep throwing my fringe and it won't grow it feels like straw at the moment there and I put like a protector on there and that side's like straw that side's okay but that side's a bit straw and I'm considering having my hair cut as well to the back there because it'll be uh, quicker to dry but I can't make up my mind I said my floor and Liam would be grateful if I cut my hair because uh, it keeps blocking the vacuum not the vacuum you know the turny bit I have to keep cutting all my hair so, <laughs> yeah. so I'm thinking if I have my hair cut to about there it won't be as bad i'm still undecided because I, I can't do short hair i haven't got the right head shape to um carry it off i mean i really envy women with short hair like you know and because you have to style it as well and i, I can't be doing with style you know, you know it just seems like hard work doesn't it when you see women and it looks like they spent a lot of time on their hair and you're like rather you than me it looks good but I, I just can't be bothered straightening my hair that, that's all i want to do Occasionally I get adventurous and I curl it and most of the time that ends up being a disaster but uh, I, I've got to keep trying you know, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah like I said I haven't got a lot of mag on today and my paws are still there 
I don't think anything's going to get rid of open pores, the large pores. I think once they're there, they're there, ain't they? You're stuck with them. You've just got to live with them, in ya. Just uh, like record further away and just hope you like don't zoom in. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everyone. Um, like I said, I'm going to get my deguster box in a minute, so I'll be wearing the same outfit. If anybody knows this, because I ain't changing now. Alright. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye.